So with this simple method, you can get up to 25 legendaries per run, maybe even more in fact. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Also guys, I am giving away copies of Borderlands to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So we all know about the offline loot tink farm upon season 6. It's probably the best and most efficient farming spot. Now what if I told you you've been farming this spot completely wrong from the get-go because within this small area there are up to literally 10 loot tinks that you can actually farm here and more times than not after running this route I will show you loading out loading back in I at least triple my legendary loot drops per run easily okay so Eden 6 is literally the farming planet but the Jacobs Estate area is actually full of loot tinks it's crazy Playing offline on Mayhem 3, also with an artifact which increases luck as well. People, you will be swimming in legendaries. Okay, so upon first loading into the Jacobs Escape area, head to this spot I mark on the map. This is the looting save point. On your way to this point alone, you will sometimes, more than not, come across two or three other loot tinks. As you can see on the screen now, I run into two of these little bastards and they're just absolutely everywhere. So these two have a chance of spawning right here. There's also a chance of one spawning below, as well as multiple other spawning in this very location. So when you do run to that loot tink save point farm, make sure you keep your eyes peeled in this location too. So kill these guys and get that loot, then process to the spot we marked on the map, the original loot tink farm. So this loot tink has friends in this area, one commonly spawning right next to him. If you are quick enough you will kill him too, also doubling up on that loot just from this area. One also spawns up these stairs too, as you can see on screen now. I just miss him and blow myself up, so don't be a scrub like me. So once you've checked here, head back up on yourself to this kind of waterfall. A loot tink more times than not spawns here too. Kill him and get that loot guys. Now what if I told you three more spawn in this little area? Yes, they indeed do. So from the loot tink save point, Beacon Thingy Bob, follow this path to Heckle and Hyde. Two loot tinks also have a chance of spawning right here too, which I've had multiple times. Take them out people. And then there's another one in this area also. So head to this far corner and you'll commonly see one here too. Now these are just the ones I've seen while farming this spot. And these are just the ones I run to every time I load in and out of this area. You can rinse and repeat this process of spawning back from the very start, running the whole route over and over if you want. But I normally just quit out from this spot and start the process from here. As the initial two we first covered in this video, I mean there's so many enemies around them, you find yourselves dying a lot here. But it's up to you if you want to farm them, you can. So quitting out and loading back up into this area means you can look for the seven which commonly spawn in this area. So use this method guys and increase those legendary loot drops as it makes this farm unbelievably more efficient. So yeah guys, if you plan on farming here, use this simple route. Find more than five times the normal loot tinks and you'll find and make farming legendaries even more crazy. 
And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.